Hi, mothballs. And welcome to another vlog. So today we're gonna to be working on cleaning. And when I say cleaning, I mean kind of like a general tidy up as well as some organizing. It's been too long since I've been able to kind of just like focus on organizing and getting things back into shape. Um, usually like each morning I'll make the bed, of course, haven't done that yet. Um, and then also this little area right next to my desk, which I'll show you in a second, is a little bit messy. Like I have like a snack bin down there. I have some electronics down there, but it's not supposed to be like that. I want it to be less cluttered. So I'm going to be working on getting that organized today. I'm also going to work on trying to tidy up my office space. So I've been working at my desk in here, but I want to migrate back over to my office room because that's where my cat spends a lot of her time. She likes to hang out in there and she gets really upset when I don't work in there. Now you may be thinking, oh, you know, she probably just snubs you. No, she screams at the top of her lungs and then tries to break into my bedroom, which she's not allowed in the bedroom, especially unsupervised because I have the birds in here and she does in fact try to eat the birds. So they have to be separate. So I'm going to <laughs> circle back around. We're gonna try to tidy this up. We're gonna make the bed, tidy up this little area over here. And then we're gonna head on over to my office. So I'm just gonna start with cleaning up the bed. to pop by real quick and just say this is the 10 foot long blanket from Costco's perfect for snuggling if you're with two or more people I'm not judging but it is a pain in the ass if you want to use it as a regular blanket on your bed uh, you're gonna see me ending up folding up the sides a bit so they're not hanging off the side because this is not a king size bed so there's not a lot of room to take up a lot of the blanket space so i'm gonna fold the sides of the blanket up so that they don't hang all right so now we are moving on to this area as you can see i have my side table my little baskets it's a bit messy and then down here We'll get closer in on that, but we're going to start by trying to organize this and see if we, seeing if we can get rid of anything that doesn't really need to be there and is taking up room. So I'm going to bring these baskets down and we're going to just try to organize through those real quick.
All right, so I got my baskets organized and I have just a couple things like just some hair ties and a little little hair clip of hair on this. That's that's pretty nasty. And I actually have in my drawer or my cabinet rather a little clear box that I keep like little loose odds and ends for hair things. So I'm actually gonna put my scrunchie, my small hair tie, and my clip in there. And then I actually don't like how this doesn't latch or anything. So what I actually end up doing is I take the big hair tie, which I had lost, but now I have found, and I just put it around it so it's not gonna open up in transit anywhere. Not that it's going anywhere, it's, I just don't want it opening up randomly and spilling out all over the, over the place. So I don't think that's too much to ask. I'm gonna throw it back in here. And now, I have a giant pile of things that need to go elsewhere. So, so that pile <laughs> includes this fun grabber, which my girlfriend bought for me at World Cost Plus Market. We happened to see it and I picked it up and I was playing with it. And then um, I put it down and she picked it up again and bought it for me because she saw how much fun I had with it. And I also have some makeup and some dry, sh not makeup. This is perfume. I have some perfume or body spray rather and some dry shampoo that are actually kind of extras in a sense. The dry shampoo is a nighttime sh dry shampoo that I haven't opened it. I haven't been using. I have a drawer where I keep all that excess. So I'm going to put it in that drawer. And I actually switched over to a new body spray. It's in the Stars Bath and Body Works. I think I got this around Christmas time because they were having those sales and can't can't resist love the sales um, and I just found this in my stash so I'm actually gonna start using this one again delicious um, and then I recently bought these giant clips at TJ Maxx and I have like four or five of them um, I actually have another one of them right here they're different types these were from the same pack though um, this one is really big it's yellow it's cute it's great if you're gonna wear something with light colors for spring um, and then this one is more of like white it's not like a harsh white though it's, it's kind of like a milky white um, so I like to just wear that one to keep my hair out of my face and I keep it close by I just kind of snip it to my desk here um, and then what else did I have oh <laughs> I have these cute heart glasses that I got at CVS they were on clearance after Valentine's Day. And I said, why not? Do I already have a pair of heart sunglasses? Yes. Do I need another? Yes. So I got those and I don't know where I'm gonna put those, but they're probably gonna go the same place that that little, that little toy grabber is going. Um, and then I got this for Christmas in my stocking. It's a little lighter. I'm gonna keep it in my desk. The laser pointers for Luna, so I'm probably going to bring that into her room. And then again, this, the lip scrub, that's going to go in my excess uh, perfume and dry shampoo, cosmetics drawer, you could call it. There's makeup, there's body stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Um, and then this Labradorite pendulum I also got for Christmas. Not in my stocking, but I got it from one of my sisters, and I absolutely love it. It is so pretty it just hits when the light hits it it's so beautiful and you really can't truly really see like how beautiful it is in the camera but when you see it in person it's just got a lot of blues and a lot of greens it has beautiful light refraction so I love it I'm actually gonna put it on my desk because I also like to keep that close not that I use it all the time but I like to look at it so I just I keep it close by and I like I'm like a little bird that collects tiny little pebbles and puts them in a pile near me because I just like them and that's one of my little pebbles um and then lastly I have this hair clip which is actually going to go in my cosmetic drawer because it's actually used for when I put my hair in hair curlers and I don't need that here um I have these chopsticks for snacks which I gotta wash now and I'm not sure what this is but I'm almost positive almost positive that it goes to a Tupperware container 
that maybe I had up here for lunch one day, but I think it goes in the hole where like you can pull it up to ventilate the top. So if your food is really hot and you have the lid on, the steam has somewhere to escape. And I think this fell off. I'm, I'm almost, I'm like 99% sure. Um, and then this is also, this is the, I might honestly put this in the bathroom because this is for your toothpaste or if you like have a hair cream, like a JVN air dry cream, you can put this on the tube to help you get all the little bits and pieces out of it. Um, so I'm going to put this, I think on my toothpaste cause I'm starting to run low, but I know that there's more in there and I refuse to get rid of it until I physically cannot get any more toothpaste out of the bottle, out of the squeeze tube. It's not a bottle. If it was a bottle, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be putting that on it. So for lack of a better word, bottle. All right, so I'm gonna go run and put those in those other drawers and then we're gonna tackle this area and put the baskets back. How do you feel about cooking? All right, so welcome to the segment, Cooking with a Moth. So today we're gonna be making a tried and true, we call it depression pasta. Now, my girlfriend taught this to me. It's basically you have any sort of pasta you want. So in this example, we're using rotini from Barilla. And you cook it up like normal, you strain the water, and then we add really any seasonings that we want. Um, but for the sake of like this loose recipe, um, our go to's are salt, pepper, nutritional yeast, and onion powder. Now, we used to also use garlic powder, but due to a garlic sensitivity, we try to cut that out now. So we kind of stick with those four, but today we are including a new seasoning. It's the Kinder Cracked Pepper Parmesan, which we've tried it on chicken. We've tried it on potatoes, delicious. So excited to use this for the pasta today. And then we're also making some chicken. It's pre-cooked chicken that we're gonna heat up. Well, I guess it's not pre-cooked, but Oh no, it is pre-cooked. It's the just bare, boneless, skinless, lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. They're actually really good. And on and off, we, being my girlfriend and I, have like uh, intolerance to chicken. Not like our bodies can't digest it or we can't um, eat it with like without having an allergic reaction. It's more like, our minds are rejecting it. Like there'll be times where we just won't want chicken at all. And if we force ourselves to eat chicken, then we're not gonna like it. But then there are other times or other forms of chicken that we will eat, like the chicken chunks I just showed you that are really good. They don't taste like too chickeny, if you know, you know, but they're just, they're really good. They're really light. They don't have any like bouncy spots or fatty chunks in them. Super delicious. So I'm going to be cooking up some of those. I already have my oven preheating to my right and I'm going to pan over. And then I already have my bo my bottle. What? My water boiling is what I'm trying to say. So why don't my, my tripod? I apologize for the technical difficulties. We'll be back in just a moment. Take two. Like I was saying, I already have my water boiling for the pasta and my oven is preheating currently for the chicken. 
So I'm just gonna center this a little bit more. Once that boils, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the pasta, which it's pretty much like it's almost there. It's just about to boil. Just gonna open this here. So then that'll be ready. And then while I'm waiting for that to boil, I'm just grabbing a little pan. This will do nicely. Just a little pan to put the chicken on. I'm only making enough chicken for me and my girlfriend. I'm just gonna add a little extra oil on here. You don't have to do that part, but I like to. And then I'm just gonna add the chicken on, which it even looks just like really fresh in the sense of not like it was just murdered, but uh, fresh in the sense that it doesn't look gross. It looks really light. And so it's just like, it's better chicken in my opinion. So I'm just gonna put on some, I'm gonna make some extra in case my girlfriend wants to bring some to work tomorrow. I'm also wanting extra because I really like this chicken, so I'm gonna wanna eat some more. Uh, and then once the oven is preheated, which preheat to 375, I need to change that. I'm gonna throw those in. But switching back over here, it looks like this is boiling. I just want to update this to 375. So that'll preheat to 375. I'm going to put my pasta in. Ow, the box is hot. I'm just going to do the whole box because, again, if there's extra, my girlfriend can bring it to work tomorrow. From here... I'm just gonna use a spoon to get it all submerged. Yeah, submerged. And then I always like to add a little bit of oil because I feel like it helps it to not stick as much. I don't know if that's true. I've never looked it up. I've never had that confirmed. I feel like I just heard it from somebody one time and it's just stuck with me ever since. So, I'm gonna give that a good stir. All right. And then as you know, it's oil, so it's gonna separate on the top as it just did. But it makes it look so sparkly shimmery, sparkly shimmery pasta. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit so that when it does finish, or like, not finish, but start boiling again, it doesn't boil over. I might even need to turn it down a little bit more. Actually, no, that was too low. All right. Oven is just about preheated, so I'm gonna grab my chicken and move this back. All right, and we're gonna pop this in here. All right, and so just check in the bag, but that's gonna be big for 20 three minutes. So we have 23 minutes. I wanted to mention that that chicken that I that I showed you that we got at Costco but I think we've also seen that at Big Y and I live on the east coast so I'm sure it's got to be in other stores as well but that's just personally where me and my girlfriend have seen it and then that pasta that I showed you, let me tell you, we went to Costco's, not this past weekend, but like two weekends before that, we go shopping every other weekend, and we got that pasta, it was in a, like a seven pack of pasta, and I think it cost like, maybe four. 14, 15. Okay. I'm honestly, I'm not sure, but we got that pasta at a really good deal. So we didn't have to buy the boxes individually. It came in one big pack from Costco and it was on sale. So we saved a lot of money. Um, and this, I'm not sponsored by Costco or anything. Wish it was, but I will recommend that if you are trying to save money when you're shopping, if you're trying to bulk up, like buy stuff, save it so that you don't have to go grocery shopping as often, or if you just have a larger family, Costco's is a really great way to save money. Highly recommend it. 
You don't have to go if you don't want to. I understand. But if you do go, you can also get some free samples if that's your vibe. All right, so back to the pasta. I'm gonna give it a stir. It's, it's getting nice and juicy, if that's what you wanna call it. I don't know. The pasta is filling up nicely with water. I honestly might turn it up a little bit because I want it to cook just a little bit faster because hmm, I'm impatient. I want to get to the good part of adding in all the seasonings and then, you know, the best part, which is eating it. So I'm just going to give that a little good stir. All right, we got to skip to the good part, which on second thought, I'm actually going to move this to the other burner. So let's move you over here because I don't want my pasta to start cooking again once it's on. I am going to put a good amount of butter in. Because I did a whole box of pasta and I don't want it to stick together. All right. We're going to pour that bad boy in. Now again, this is nothing fancy. Literally, we call this depression pasta. Rather... I was taught the term depression pasta and I have adopted it, but it's really good. It's a nice comfort food when we're not feeling so good or we had a bad day or we just want something to be easy, breezy, and then just, you know, be able to eat it and get on a merry way, do whatever we need to do. So I'm just adding butter and stirring this around to get these noodles at least semi evenly coated. And then from here, I'm going to start adding in my seasonings. So I like to start with salt and pepper. And we're going to do some salt. Pepper. And then I'm going to add my onion powder. Again, not too much, but just enough for this layers. And then we're adding, adding in that cracked pepper parmesan, which I'm gonna open the right side here. We're not gonna add too much because we don't want this to overpower the flavor. And then I'm gonna stir this up a bit. And it may sound like a lot of salt, but I can guarantee you, it is not. Barely anything is coming out. Oops, let's see. All right, so now I'm gonna do my pepper. All right. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put new chicken oil yeast last time. <laughs> I already messed up, that's fine. We're going to go in again with the onion powder. A little bit of that cracked pepper parmesan. And then a lot of bit of our nutritional yeast because I skimped out apparently. All right, so now we're going to mix that up again. All right, I know that wasn't the best mix, but I feel like it's too dry to, to stir right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add secret ingredient. Ha ha, you thought I was gonna tell you the secret ingredient. I'm not, it's a secret for a reason. Be glad I shared that much of the recipe with you. So I got my bowls here, I got the plates for the chicken once it's ready and I'm just going to start by scooping these out into the bowls and then adding more cheese. Whoopsies, noodle flying, noodle tracks. All right, a little bit more to this 
this one. Perfect. Okay. I say that a lot. We're gonna add some more cheese for garnish. And I'm probably gonna honestly microwave this a little bit because it's not as warm as I'd like it to be and it wasn't even off the stove that often. Not often. Um, <laughs> multitasking is not my strong suit. It hasn't been off the stove that long is what I was trying to say. So once the chicken is out, I'm gonna pop these back in for like a minute and then, you know, we'll go from there. All right, so I was bored and I honestly don't wanna wait. I don't know how long I have not been recording, but I've been talking to you for a while. So I took the chicken out of the oven and it did not look crispy enough. So I'm putting it in my little toaster oven on broil for just a couple minutes and then we'll reconvene. In the meantime, I was packing a lunch for Joanna. So let me just, this is a terrible angle. You guys gotta let me know if this is bad for you because I can't tell. We got our pasta. I put some Yum Yum sauce in here, just in case you weren't here for that for some reason. And then I'm gonna put the chicken on this side. I'm gonna grab our lunchbox. So we got our lunchbox. I'm gonna take out the lunch from earlier today. Get rid of that. Also gonna get rid of this yogurt because she did not finish it. And she doesn't have an ice pack in here. So I don't feel good with making her take that again. All right, I just checked on the chicken, it's looking good. You shouldn't touch her snacks. So I'm gonna put those back in. It's an espresso trail mix and these little sour cream and onion goldfish. She also has this bag of Annie's gummies that I'm gonna keep in here. Um, little salt and pepper shaker, so cute. And then I'm gonna dump out the old yogurt, get her a new one. So we've got a new yogurt, it's Chobani mango. We have these made good granola minis. They're mixed berries, super good. And then that should still leave room for her lunch. I kind of want to give her some apples. this little container to put apples in and big life hack especially for those ADHD people such as myself if you struggle with food prep there's no shame in buying pre-chopped pre-washed vegetables there's no shame if it makes your life easier do it if it gives you the opportunity to have breakfast do it you might get some duds in there. That's okay. It's not all of them. Take the ones that look good. And by duds, I mean like when they cut them, some of the core is still in there, which, you know, that's fine. That's life. They're born with the core in them. So highly recommend we get those at Stop and Shop. They're not that expensive and it has prevented a lot of skipped breakfasts. All right. So I got distracted. I was going to put my cheese away, but I'm gonna wait until I put her lunch in, but I am gonna put my cheese away because I don't think I'm gonna use any more of that. Put that away. I'm gonna check on my chicken. There we go, that's what I like it to look like. It looks a lot more crispier. I honestly, I need my chicken to be crispy, otherwise I don't wanna eat it. Okay. So, I'm just gonna move her lunch stuff to the side for a second and bring our plates over. So I'm gonna put some chicken on each of the plates. Hello, full body shot. 
don't mind my little hair falling down in the back. It's, I shaved my head and it's not grown back right ever since. So I'm just gonna do six pieces of chicken each for now. Sorry, I, I choked up. I just thought, wow, six, six pieces is perfect. No, I'm kidding. I actually just, I lost my breath for a second. So I had to take a pause. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Because then the thought behind that is that six pieces of chicken isn't too intimidating to eat. If I gave us more, we probably wouldn't want to eat it all. But since I'm giving us less, the chances are that we'll probably want to eat more. And then we have more left on the tray. So it may work like that. It may not work like that tonight. We'll find out. So we have our chicken. I'm going to throw these back into the microwave or into the microwave rather to heat up. And I'm gonna add some yum yum sauce into a bowl for Joanna. For Joanna, my gosh, I'm sorry, I tripped up my words again. So we got some yum yum sauce. Sorry, 30 seconds just seems to be all it takes. So I just took that one out, put the other one in, and then I want ranch. So I got the ranch. a little more. Add that on the side here. And then I'm also going to add some pieces of chicken into Joanna's lunch. All right, so since she's going to be at lunch and not really have a choice if she wants seconds, I give her eight pieces, which she may still not eat all of that all, but I at least want her to have the option. So now, if I can get this on right, I'm gonna put this lid on. It has like a divider in the middle that either sits perfectly or doesn't. <laughs> so put that in. I have to put it in sideways because it doesn't fit laying down. I put the apples in and then I'm gonna put in a fork and a knife. And we're good to go lunch. So that's all packed. All right, and I have both of these ready to go. Now I'm just going to add some forks and bring them upstairs. Hope you like. Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop in and say that where I live just experienced like a small after after shake quakes of an earthquake. Um, the original earthquake happened in New Jersey, but then it kind of, I don't know the correct word, but like correct word I mean but it like reverberated throughout the different states nearby it as well um, which I want to say exactly which one I live in but um, basically like it was a small small earthquake where I live and I at first I was just kind of walking around I was honestly trying to get some steps in for Pokemon Go because I wanted an egg to hatch and it only hatches if you walk so I was walking around listening to a training for work and I walked by the bird's cage and all of a sudden it starts shaking. And I was like, oh my gosh, did I just, did, am I walking too hard? And I like grabbed the bird's cage to prevent it from shaking because I don't want my birds to be scared. And then I noticed that there were other items around my room that were shaking that weren't even near me. Um, and it stayed shaking for like maybe between 15 and 20 seconds. And I was like, um, what is happening? Um, and I tried looking up, there's like, I tried just looking it up online. I was like, earthquake tracker. And I tried pulling up a website and it said too many people were looking at it. And I was like, guess I'm not the only one. And then I got a text from my girlfriend. She said where she's working, which is a different city than I'm currently in, also experienced it. And then her parents also texted me and said they felt the earthquake too. So I was like, okay, thank goodness. Cause I thought it was crazy. I thought I was just imagining things at first, but then other people are saying that. And then the work chat through my work, we use Slack, started blowing up. There's just tons of people saying earthquake, like they felt it, their desk was shaking. Somebody's screens were going in and out. So it was wild, um, but it wasn't even that, like it wasn't even that huge. 
So that was kind of like my excitement for the day so far. Other than that, I've just been doing a training for work, just trying to keep busy. Um, yeah, but wild. It doesn't usually earthquake where I am. <laughs> okay, so don't quote me, but apparently I don't know how to use a microphone. Anyways, just wanted to pop in, say sorry for just popping in unannounced again, but I wanted to share another little tidbit with you. So recently I got a Frank. <clears throat> Recently, I got a free ring light from work. It is like a motion tracking ring light. So you have batteries that you put into the base. You screw the ring light on top. I actually have it right here. Nothing fancy, but you have the base. You put the batteries in the bottom. You have this little phone holder, and then you have your ring light. The ring light does, in fact, plug in by USB. So the batteries are specific. Not me breaking it. The batteries are specifically for the base and the USB plug-in is specifically for the ring light part. And so when I got it, I was like, okay, yeah, you put your batteries in, you plug in your, your USB, and then I assume that you must hook up to it by like Bluetooth. And I tried and it didn't work. So I went back to the instructions and it says there's an app that you have to download. I think it's called Fun Chase. Not quite sure, but I went to the iOS store and I got the app. And, or rather, I went to the iOS store and I tried to get the app, but it said it didn't exist. It It's not compatible for your region, something like that. And so I was like, okay, well, maybe I just put it in wrong. So then I see in the instructions that there's a QR code. So like, okay, maybe if I scan the QR code, I can get this app so that I can use this product. I scan QR code, same thing, doesn't exist not available in your region and i was like okay well why would you let me buy this not even buy this why would you let me get this as a free work gift if it's not going to even work so now i basically have a glorified phone holder with a ring light I'm not too upset about it i have come to the terms that like if i really really wanted to get this app i would have to use a vpn to um basically be able to download the app and use it in general but I don't want to do that. I don't want to put that effort in. So I'm just using it for what it is. And the light actually works pretty well. It has different settings. I really like it. And maybe someday the app will become available in my region. But until then, I'm just going to use it as a phone holder. So thought I'd share that with you. Update. I was about to take the ring light down off of my side table so it just didn't fall. And there's a QR code on the bottom of the base for the app. So I'm going to try that. I tried it. It didn't work. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please drop a like, subscribe, share, anything that you want. Leave a comment even if you'd like to. But I will try to get back on my posting every Wednesday and not the day after for next week. But until then, I hope you have a great weekend, mothballs.